what is up everyone this is mo tutorials here and today i'm going to show you how to fix the svc host.exe high usage cpu that you are getting on your computer so if you don't know what i'm talking about if you open up the task manager by either pressing all control delete or just right clicking at the bottom and clicking task manager you'll get to this page which kind of shows you like all the processes that are running and if you look right now there's a lot of services host being run on your computer and you're probably like what the hell is going on a lot of some of these use a lot of like the spacage or memory in your computer and you know you want to kind of get rid of that so what you're supposed to do is there's a couple of things that we're going to do you can basically uh right click into this and go into wh wherever the what's it called location is off the file and kind of like turn it off there but i'm actually going to show you a different way on what you're going to do because this one can possibly mess it up it is like related to your computer so what you want to do is instead of like ending task basically you're basically just going to do a few other steps that i'm just going to show you right now so the first thing we're going to open up uh regedi so this is oh sorry it's on the you, well, yeah, you could actually do it from here. Um, either via run command or via this method. You're going to open up the registry edit. So we're going to just turn this all off. So the first thing is I actually have some notes ready for you. We're going to open up H key local machine. Then we're going to open up system, as you see here. Then we're going to open up this called current control set. And then we're just going to click into control. We don't need to open this. In here, there's something called the service right here service host split threshold this is where we're going to basically start modifying it so you're going to right click into it and click modify so you're going to see over here there's already a value data we're going to change this the way you're going to do this is you're going to take whatever ram you have let's say it's 8 16 24 32 etc and you're going to multiply that by 1024 whatever results come multiply that by 1024 and input that value in here that is the first thing that you're going to do. That is step number one. That's basically going to help increase, like, one, the space over there, the usage, and kind of, like, remove those service holes happening so that high CPU usage kind of goes away. The next thing is, once this is done and you press OK and you're kind of basically good to go, we're going to go back into here and we're going to press the Run button. And we're going to basically open this up and we're going to write uh, or get into something called Event Viewer. So it's E-V-E-N-T-V-W-R. Once you do that, you're going to see a right here, an event viewer basically screen pop up, as you see right here. In here, we're going to do a couple of things, and I have steps written for that for you also. <laughs> we're going to click into the Windows log, and we're going to click into application. And over here, you see something called clear log. So we're basically, right now, as you see, I don't have anything here. But for you, when you follow those steps that I mentioned, these are going to be populated. Because like I said, I've already done it. It may or may not pop up eventually. But you want to kind of do exactly what I said and do the clear log for all of them, which you're going to do. So for example, here, I have a lot here. So you're going to clear the log over this to basically remove these. Again, these are all items that are not needed. They're just being saved as cash per se, and they're slowing your computer down. These aren't needed. So like I said, same thing for system and then forwarded events. If, again, for you, if it's slow, you're most likely have every single thing filled up and you want to do clear log for all of them. Once you kind of do that, you should be good to go. This should kind of help expedite and speed up your video or computer i should say <laughs> and then you're kind of good to go so yeah um if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that more tutorials out